There's no time for settling in. Jordan's new Prime Minister, Omar Razaz, is getting straight down to work. He takes office under pressure to calm the biggest protests in years over a tax law critics say targets the poor and working class. Razaz has promised immediate action to come up with a new law that suits everyone and has begun consultations with MPs, the Senate and trade unions. We've started this morning and we will go through all of the stages. We don't have any prior positions. It will all be based on dialogue and we're going to listen to our partners. These are well-established civil society organizations with a clear voice and a clear right. And this is what the King has asked us to do today, to have an active dialogue with the people based on the law in a legitimate way. This dialogue will make people comfortable. Razaz is a former World Bank economist appointed by King Abdullah on Tuesday. His predecessor, Hani Mulki, resigned a day earlier in an attempt to defuse the growing public anger. But the change at the top didn't prevent a day-long strike by doctors, lawyers and teachers or stop defiant crowds from massing in the streets of the capital on Wednesday night. They say a cabinet reshuffle isn't enough to improve their lives. People are saying give them a chance for the minister to withdraw the law or cancel or do something. But the people no longer have any patience. There's no room for them to wait. People can't find anything to eat. We don't have anything. Protesters wanted to rally outside the new prime minister's office, but security forces blocked the road, pushing back the sea of people. The only thing that happened, the only demand fulfilled, was that the government was dismissed. We still have many more demands that have not been fulfilled. We will stay in the streets until all our demands are met. We want justice and dignity and bread. Others, though, are hopeful. We want to give them a chance. We want to become better. But reviving the economy will take time. Jordan's $37 billion in debt and the tax hike is part of a number of reforms requested by the International Monetary Fund. Razaz has pledged to listen to his people. His challenge will now be to find some middle ground. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.